A guest with us here, Laura Sigmund. Congratulations. <laughs> I know, I know. But I'm here to interview you. <laughs> Congratulations, Laura. It's good to see you back here yet again in the semifinals. Uh, we were just talking about that second set. You're down a double break. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind at that point? Well, I think breaks don't mean a lot in this tournament. <laughs> I feel like there's more breaks than, than you win your service games. So, um, no, I mean, it was close games, you know, and uh, I it could have gone either way to if I was 1-2 uh, two, two instead of love 3. It's a big difference. I had a couple of chances. It was really close game. So, um, you know, I wasn't trying to wor worry about the score so much and more about what happened to, you know, what that this score actually happened. And I was playing a little bit short and I tried to be more aggressive again. All right, we're going to take you through some of the highlights of this match. Obviously, you've got a lot of confidence coming into this t this match here, Laura, because you reached the quarterfinals, you had some big wins. You, in, that, in that first match, you got through the third set tie break. What are your thoughts coming into today? Yeah, um, I tried to, you know, do the same as the other days. I tried to... Uh, uh, pick my spots, play my balls right away, be aggressive. Wind was similar to yesterday. I didn't think it was so strong, but actually when I went out there, you know, kind of never know what you get when you get, go onto this court because it's just different than outside. So it was very windy again. And yeah, but I think I did a good job playing aggressive and, uh, and you know, giving her, uh, giving her pressure. You had your coach come out after the first set. What's the thought process there? Because you played really well in that first set. Yeah, but you know, um, I, I still like to talk to him and I still like to use that on-court coaching for, for his opinion. Um, a couple of things I wasn't feeling uh, so com comfortable with. Maybe you didn't see it, but but I, I still had a couple questions and asked him and he said, it's all right and I'm doing a good job. And um, yeah, then not so much the first thing. <laughs> Second. So for me, you're, you, you play your best when you're like how you have a lot of energy and you're jumping up yeah. and down and you're so into your rhythm. How do you bring down to 3-0? You weren't obviously <laughs> not energy like that. You weren't you didn't have as much energy as you normally show. How do you get back to that when you're down? Well, you know, sometimes it's also a matter of concentration. I was really focused in that um, in that beginning and middle of second set and I just uh, yeah, I, it, it, it's not that I don't have energy, but I was a little bit calmer today. It's not like I try to be, uh, you know, have a lot of energy. It's just I have it or I, you know, I, I try to be myself. And one day is a little bit calmer. The next day I pump myself a little more. So I don't worry about that too much. It's also, it also kind of depends how the points go, of course, you know. And so yeah, I guess today I was a little bit calmer, very focused on, on the game and very calm in my head. Yeah. Talk about yesterday. You said that you dare more on important points. Once again, those important six to seven break points you won. How did you dare today? You know, I think it's very important also today to that love three. Uh, you do a little bit less, you play a little less uh, aggressive, and suddenly you don't win games anymore. You know, it's as simple as that. And if you have a break point, it doesn't mean like you get it, you have to earn it. And that's what I remind myself every time. And today, especially in the second, I was like, man, you got to step it up because it's just not enough what you're doing and and then yeah i'm able to step it up and i you know you just have to kind of push yourself to it yeah how do you feel about your next match playing against castakina uh yeah she played a really uh, great tournament so far very solid performance today it's definitely a tough opponent you know she doesn't give you anything for free so i think i have to work very hard tomorrow yeah. the court was really dusty they're watering it now how did that affect you out there yeah you know sometimes the wind comes it's like clay all over the place but I mean it's the same <laughs> the same for everyone well, right see right there for your yeah, opponent exactly yeah I mean see the same for everyone it's like you know sometimes you have it in your eye and sometimes uh, she has it so it's like, <laughs> what what can you do about it it's like you know <laughs> it, it's not good it's a, you know you have to I think it's important that you don't um, how do you say bring yourself down with it because it's gonna cause errors also I had trouble with the serve sometimes the ball was going somewhere you know you have to find solutions so. yeah but it, I feel like wind is, is definitely a neutralizer because it, it helps both of the players sometimes it helps you exactly. sometimes it helps her it just depends yeah, on yeah it can be tough sometimes you know you have a little wind in the back on a big point it, it can help <laughs> you you know but what there is nothing you know 
really nothing you can do about it. So you just have to make the best out of it, I guess. The celebration you had at the end. I mean, you look so excited to get to the semifinal. You're hugging everybody. Well, oh. yeah, <laughs> family, pretty much. They're all <laughs> here American for you. American family. <laughs> yeah, I was very happy with that uh, last couple of games. That w that's why I was so focused and trying to, you know, not think about the end and skip skip to the um, to the end before it's actually happened. So I tried to play every point like it's one all, you know. And uh, then you're kind of surprised when it's over, and that's when all the energy comes out. Yeah. Well, a lot of energy for you this week. I mean, coming into this week, one win. Now you're into the semifinals. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Believe it. Laura Sigmund, she's into the yes. semifinals here at the Volvo Car Open. Congratulations, another fine performance.